It is Buster Posey from the Minecraft Pigs here with another fantastic mod tutorial for the Mac. So, today we are going to be installing the Smart Moving mod, which gives you a lot more movement commands. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, we are on the mod page, all the links in the description. And uh, right here it's going to say Current Version. So, uh, it's going to say Requires Player API. So, you're going to clicky click on that. And it's gonna say player API gives yeah 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 and um, client. Make sure you don't do server because that's if we are doing it on the server. And you're want, gonna want to click Dropbox. So basically, the difference between these two is this one is a direct download, and this one you have to go through Media Fire. So we're just gonna go backy back, and we're back on the mod page. And we're just going to click current version Dropbox right there. And we are almost finished. Now, if you've seen any of our other Minecraft mod tutorials, um, you know that we use the Minecraft jar tool. So uh, just head on over to the website. Uh, you can just look. All the links for all these will be neatly placed in the description. And you can just click if you have an Intel Mac, which most of you will, or a PowerPC. And uh, you're just going to click on whichever one is yours. And now, back on the desktop, you're going to see in your downloads, there's going to be MC1 and MC11. Now when we open up them both, you're going to see we have the classes and the smart moving stuff. Now, here is when uh, the mod loader comes in handy. So in a lot of other mod tutorials, you have to go into your finder, user, all this stuff. Uh, not quick time, what am I doing? Uh, ah, I just got a message. Minecraft jar tool. So you're just going to click that. Um, mine has the diamond pick. I'd set that, uh, so yours won't have that. So you're just going to click open now, and this folder, mctmp, will pop up on the desktop. We're just going to open that, and you're going to find all of this stuff in it. As you can see, I've already been messing around with it a little bit, but you're going to find Meta INF, and the best way to find it is, boom, go by kind, and then the folders will come to the top, shift click that, and then empty trash. So you're just removing the Mojang files from the Meta INF. If you do not have Meta INF, great for you, you don't have to do this step. So, inside the MC1 folder, where you're going to shift Click these, Command C, back to MCTMP, and V, replace. Now, why we're copying and pasting is if the mod fails and we do something wrong, we will not have to re download all this crap. So, in here, you're going to do standalone quitty 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 quitty. Just double click. Uh, the zip will open, and you'll get this folder. Now, inside, you will have these three class files and ooh, those two folders. So what you're going to do is drag and drop. I'll stop actually. Drag and drop them in. Make sure you're not putting them in folders. Actually, now we're going to copy and paste them in. Um, you can click. Ooh. Um, command, hold down command, and you can select multiple stuff. Copy it. And all you're going to have to do is click on here and Command V. And now replace. So, as you can see, I also have too many items installed. Not sure if that will carry over. If it doesn't carry over, you can always just reinstall it. But now we still have the GUI and the net. So, uh, we're going to go into the GUI, and as you can see, I was already fiddling around with this. We're just going to do move into the GUI, replace, and go to the net folder. Net, net, net. Where'd it go? There we go. Into the net, into the Minecraft, because you see, bam, move into Minecraft, replace. And now we are finished. We're going to click recompile now and bam. So, 
if you did not get the MCTMP folder right here, um, that is because you have been probably doing some other mod installations not this way. So what you're going to have to do is when you launch into Minecraft, bum -ba -dum -bum -bum, you're going to click Options, Force Update, and then Log In, and that will make your Minecraft back to vanilla, which is, for all you people that do not know, which is just default. And if the mod fails, you're going to do Options, Force Update, but we don't want to do that because we just installed the mod. So, here we go. We're in. Single player. Go to our testing world. And here we are. Now, just make this bigger. When we... Oh, yep, too many items stayed in. So when we go Options, Controls, we have all of these new, let's just, uh, GUI, um, do, do, do. I'll make it medium, normal, controls, and button three, still have no idea, probably just a pick block. So, left control grab, sneak, tab is sprint, so, let me go in, and I'm holding down tab. Um, we'll just pop on into full screen. Whoa, here we go. As you can see, we got the little lightning bars at the bottom. And when I hold down tab, I'm not sh it looks like it's a bit. Here's normal sprinting. Here's n no. Normal sprinting with it. And my computer is taking it off. So what else do we have? Um, options, controls. We got um, grab, which I will bind to F. So let's just set up a little diamond or obstacle course right here. Let's see how this works. Um. Let's ooh, see if we can do this. Now, um, all right. See, pressing F. Haha! -ha, I just press F, and I made it over. So uh, this mod would probably be pretty awesome for like. Uh, um parkour courses or something like that but yeah this concludes the how to install uh, the move stuff tutorial on a Mac so uh, if you like the video make sure to leave a comment down below saying uh, it worked if you have a problem uh, leave a comment saying what is going wrong and remember I did address what happens if you get a black screen just retry the whole thing with a new Minecraft by doing the force update. If you don't get the MCTMP, do the force update. Um, so yeah, just leave a comment on the video. Tell us what you think. Um, if you like this video, please um, hit the subscribe button because it really helps us out. And another thing, we have a lot of Minecraft tutorials on a Mac that we use Macs for all of this stuff. Um, so there are many other tutorials that you probably have not seen. We have ones on how to set up your own server, how to install texture packs, how to install some big mods that are out there, too many items, uh, Zombies Mod Pack. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Adios.